welcome to John's Detecting Adventures. I'm John in Bradbury and we're on plough, battle land, footpaths leading all around. Let's see what we're going to fight today. Sixty-eight. Sixty-eight then. Oh, here we go. What's that then? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> One of the big coins. Another third, like uh, eighteen something penny, I think. There, it's a big one. Uh huh. Big one. Yep. One of the big ones. Yep, for definite. George III, like Penny, after 1806 or something. Must be in here. Let's have a look gently. Could be in here. Oh no. It's a famous Roman town. Looks like a Roman coat. Oh, it's a sheep dip thing, actually. It's not a can. Right, I found this, uh, it's like a war badge, isn't it? On a cap. I think some of it's missing. So, in the middle of this field somewhere. No, barely there. Barely, no, don't chew that, lad. Yeah, so, I wonder if there's another bit missing for it, actually. at the top of the field you can see the view from here which is magnificent I've just got a 25 indication very soft soil here as well there's uh, Ken over there with the dog and John in the field and the so let's have a look and see what's in this little bit okay right pinpointer on little trowel at the ready oh Thing. Start digging. Oh, hang on, what's this? Here we go. Coin coming out. Can you see it up against the side of the wall there? I can't see because of my glasses. Here we go, little coin. 
Let's take her out. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Copper. There we are. Copper coin. I can't really see. But my third coin of the day. Yippee. Fifty-eight, George the third, half penny. <laughs> we got a silver. <laughs> yes, we've got it. We've got it. Six bits of George the six. Ah yes. Footpath leading through. Hammered in the surrounding area, and I've come up with first silver. <laughs> George VI, 1945, the end of the Second World War. It's out of uh, marble, I think. Not quite sure what it's for, but it's a marble, glass marble, eyes only. <laughs> eyes only. 75 belt. Ah, oh, part of a 17th, 18th century jug, that. Probably a beer jug of that period. <laughs> Glazed on the inside. And brown on the outside. A bit glazed. 66. Brass door handle. Nice bit of uh, Victorian pottery, I think. It's Victorian, maybe a bit later. Nicely glazed. I think it's got to be of a tulip, a tulip, I think that's a flower. Oh, I found a bit more pottery. Sort of a rim of something, not quite sure, but quite fancy. I'm not sure, sure the age of that, probably. Yet again. Late 19th century. And on the other side is just... Blank. Might be a teapot, spout or something, I'm not really sure. Well, there we are. A watch key. Winder! And I reckon it'll have all different types of writing of the name of the company on that. So we've got two, George the third, down one hole. Haha, <laughs> yes, very good. Is there anything else left? Let's check it out. 59. Oh, now then. <laughs> uh oh. Mm, I think what is it? It's that. Oh, it's a load of trash, I'm afraid. Oh, I've got a big uh, button there. 18th to 19th century. Oh, that is. And that was 25. I think it's a watch key of a different design. Point five. Some sort of coin, not sure what that is, but I'll check it out. Might be an old sixpence, I'm not sure. That's cleaning. Check that out. That was a 71. <laughs> so, check it out later. Well, 
another fantastic detecting day comes to an end. It's been brilliant with artifacts and coins and all sorts of things. Been great. Thanks for joining me and I hope you we see you on another adventure.